I'm going to do a tear down of a vacuum cleaner that my sister gave me. She found this online and it made all kinds of amazing claims of the sucking water out of a drum. And it obviously it was too amazing that most people that have any experience with this type of thing would not believe, but it was too good for her to pass up. She spent over $50 for it. And so when it arrived, uh, it wouldn't work at all. Uh, you could plug it in and it would anemically do a little bit of noise uh, when it was plugged in. But as soon as you unplugged it, it wouldn't work at all. Um, had no luck on uh, talking to the manufacturer about getting it returned or fixed or anything like that. She didn't want to go through the hassle, so she gave it to me, knowing that I would just tear it apart and look at it. So um, that's what I did, and uh, it has some kind of cute things on there, if it would have worked. It uh, came with a few little, like an extender on, oh, let's see. The unit is, is oh, oh, sorry, is sets up like this and it's got a little filter in there and it's got an extender and I think this goes the other end so you can blow things and um, and reduces it down here and it's got a little brush so nice little attachments right here but it, 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 you have to have a functioning unit for that to do anything like that uh, something is very interesting didn't come with any instructions I guess it was supposed to be self-explanatory but what I did I looked at this and this basically measured out as eight volts. So I said, hmm, this is probably a boost uh, cable. In other words, you put five volts in and you uh, it boosts up and you get eight volts out. Well, usually what needs eight volts? Two lithium cells. Because basically they're uh, about 4.2 volts. So you want to get it up near that uh, voltage for it to get a full charge on two lithium cells on that versus just one lithium cell. Unless there's some kinds of fancy circuitry in there, but we're going to find out. So um, I got a screwdriver and worked around uh, the areas, took the screws out and stuff, and finally got this to open up here. And this is what's inside here. Remember, this is sold for over $50. You could find this on sites like Amazon for far less. I'll let you do the searching. Um, I don't want to get sued. This is what's inside. A motor here that I think goes for, if you buy them in volume, for about 10 cents. Um, this looks like it could be a lithium um, pack here, a two cell here. I'm gonna open it up and tell you a little more. Um, and it's the charger circuit right here and the switch. And that's it. No safety circuit, nothing in there, which you'd find typically with two lithium cells. Um, I went ahead and put it on my uh, bench uh, charger, and it just shows it as 3.9 volts and it's fully charged. Uh, it, it's, it wouldn't allow me to do anything with it. There's something that's not kosher with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this cell here, see what we got. And then maybe even uh, replace it with some ones that I have here, see if we can make this actually do something. But I thought you'd find this kind of interesting because it seems like a, there's a lot of these going around. And, um, and they're getting a lot of good reviews, but mine's not, and I'm not getting any help to get it returned. So anyway, let me go ahead and stop the video here. I'm going to open this up and see what we got. Okay. Using little scissors, and I opened up the cell. And it appears that we do have two lithium cells here. And uh, they are going from um, positive to negative. So we're actually you know, doing a series through here. So applying eight volts would actually allow four volts to each one. Um, as a hobbyist, sometimes I will do something like this, but not, nothing in anything is gonna let it draw because balancing these cells probably is probably pretty cheap. Um, they can cause problems, especially with charging circuits and such, but perhaps because of the low voltage of a charger, it's not a problem. I wouldn't do it that way, but that's the way it is. So I uh, pulled out my handy dandy voltmeter and let's take a look what we have here. We have, we have the voltage for this one here is 
Okay, it's good for lithium. They can go up to 4.2. A lot of the uh, cheaper circuits was, would uh, protectively do a little bit lower so that you don't uh, overcharge them. And then on this one right here, dead. Have nothing. There's nothing on this one. So that's the problem with this whole thing right now is that one of the cells was not um, charging. And also the, with this uh, charging circuit here, it never really would uh, do the full charge saying like it was going to. So it's not smart enough to do that kind of stuff. So uh, we have a good cell and a bad cell here. So that's what our whole problem here is. I'm not really thinking a whole lot's gonna happen with that motor anyway. Let's see if I can dig up some kind of arrangement of uh, two lithium cells, maybe not to match this one, but I have some uh, match cells that I can put in uh, somewhat close and see what we got. Okay, I'm back. I topped off a uh, lithium pack that is in series. So this is uh, 8.4 volts. Connected the uh, negative to the negative on the motor here. And I'm gonna to touch this right here rather than going through all the wiring here. I don't even think it's going to be worthwhile doing anything more than this. So let's see what we got here. There's a little bit of suction. Let's see if it actually would suck up anything. Um, I really can't put this thing together to get it to actually do anything, but it's. Uh, you would need something that's a lot more powerful to have this be of anything of function. This might be able to pick up uh, dust or something like that on a keyboard. But uh, so you get this for the cute factor. And um, it was worth a teardown for me because I just am amazed that they sold this for over $50. I think there was a version that basically could reverse the polarity so it could blow as well as suck. And it was the, the advertising showing it sucking water up and all that kind of stuff. So it was kind of ridiculous. But anyway, um, the whole problem was this one, there is one dead cell, it's at zero. It's nothing else, and, th and this is lithium. Once they go below three volts, they're kind of dead. This is at zero volts. So I don't know what if it, if it was ever um, viable. So anyway, hope you enjoyed uh, the teardown, and um, buy at your peril. Please remember to subscribe and share this video to help disabled animals with donated wheelchairs.